kick you could hear almost around Richmond. A GRTC bus driver beaten and repeatedly kicked in the head by a passenger, and it's all caught on camera. But tonight, that driver wants answers after he was suspended for a day without pay. John Hood standing by live tonight, getting details on the attack from Richmond police and a response from GRTC. Fill us in, John. Yeah, well, Richmond police tell me that attack happened just at a bus stop, just like this one off of Chamberlain Avenue. Now, the union group that represents the driver says the punishment by GRTC is unjust and that the driver was just trying to defend himself. It's sad. It actually brings tears to your eyes every time I look at him. Maurice Carter says the attack started after the driver was checking on a passenger who appeared to have lost their balance when getting off the bus. The attacker was still on the bus and began yelling at the driver, threatening him. The driver kept going but called dispatch. They told him to pull over and open the doors. The union claims the driver tried de-escalating the situation by leaving the bus, and that's when the suspect went on the offensive. If you look in the video, you could hear one of those stomps that was to the head. It was like a kick you could hear almost around Richmond. The attacker ran but was later arrested by police on unrelated charges. The driver, however, was also punished with a one-day suspension without pay. It's a punishment that Carter says is unjust. At what point can a driver protect himself? Do we have to sit there and get beat down and risk worry about losing our job or continue to get, get assaulted? This afternoon, GRTC released a statement saying after seeing the video, they will give that driver his one day of back pay and remove the suspension from his record. They went on to say the attacker has been banned from riding GRTC vehicles in the future. The transit company says since the start of this year, there have been more than 30 incidents involving drivers who were verbally or physically assaulted. All operators, we come to work to go home to our families. We come here to serve the community, but we still want to go home to our family. And at the end of the day, if this driver didn't try to defend himself, he might not have made it back home to his family. And GRTC tells me it's standard for union employees to be suspended after a physical incident. A transit company also saying they will be pressing charges against the attacker. Live and on your side this evening in Richmond, John Hood, NBC 12 News.